Ready now, and sprinting away from the thousand, the opening leg of the bipod today. They jumped as one, except European Summer was lagging off them in the early part. Well, Civil Rights and on the outside, Tipsy Tina. They showed the greatest pace of all. Civil Rights, Tipsy Tina going together out in front from Paris Lassen third. Then came Angel Debs. He has the favourite three rocks racing towards the rear. Five lengths off the leader. European Summer racing further back. Halfway through the contest. It's Civil Rights on the outside that led from Tipsy Tina. Three rocks out after them. Angel Debs. Then Paris Lass and European Summer as they head down with 300 metres left to go. Three rocks comes home strongly down the inside. Paris Lass. Then came Civil Rights on the outside. European Summer is starting to progress. But it's Three Rocks who has the advantage here. Three Rocks go strongly out in front here from European Summer on the outside Paris Lass but Three Rocks goes on best of all Three Rocks will beat European Summer Paris Lass third, Civil Rights Tipsy Tina and Angel Dibs Both the top stables have opened up the meeting here at Fairview today with Gavin Smith taking out race one and Alan Kreef taking out race number two Richard Ferry to the four on the favourite the heavily backed Three Rocks Goes on best of all to beat European Summer and third place to Paris Lass. That's race number two. Well, welcome back to your favour this afternoon. And the daughter of Heavenly Blue comes out, bred out at Ascot Stud to win this afternoon five races in a row. Let me tell you, there aren't too many horses in the country that win five in a row. So very well done to everybody involved here. And with me, I've got Spinati. He's collecting the 1,500 Rand on behalf of the groom, which is Shoes. Spinati, tell him very well done. Yeah. All right, take that with you. Let's go to... The jock, Richard Free, Mike's on. Well done, Richie. Nice to have you back in the winner's box. Thank you, thank you. Always good to start off like that. Now, we were just chatting, you heard me say, now, there's not too many horses that win five in a row. It doesn't matter where you race. It takes some going, and there was a lot of speed in the race. Small field, a lot of speed, but she handled it well. Yeah, look, uh, I was giving away a lot of weight as well, up to six kilos at one stage um, yeah. to the horse at Muzi Road. And, um, you know, that's, you've got to respect over five furlong. It's, it's quite a gap. And um, I was concerned... I uh, thought she could get beat today, um, taking on the older fillies again. And when I jumped out, she sort of still raced green with me, and I couldn't really keep up with the guys. And through the 500, I said, no, let me just put in daylight, because I know she's got that amazing turn of foot. So uh, I pulled her out on a let her go, and you know she quickly responded. I think that's where she kills him, her serious uh, turn of foot that she has. And um, you know she still ran green and wanted to hang in with me. Um, she's got funny legs. Uh, maybe maybe that was the cause as well, but uh, she quickened off well and, and really won a good race. So well done to everybody involved, all the all the owners uh, with um, Mr. Chada um, and obviously to Mr. Griff and his uh, team doing all the hard work. Uh, well done to them. Tremendous. I'm not going to keep you too long. I just want to ask you about these runners because they are short in the betting and the viewers out there want to know, do they bank her PAs, etc., don't they? Yeah. Race four, you've got Lady Mystico and then you've got so Grazing in the Grass in our feature, the Algoa Cup this afternoon, and you've also got Clifftop in race eight. Yeah, um, Lady Mystico, lovely race. Um, I almost want her in a mile now, um, but uh, it's a lovely 1,400 on the grass. Uh, grazing in the grass, hopefully he can uh, win... Um, for the Eastern Cape trainers. Do, do you give him a winning chance? Oh, most definitely. He's a, he's a gutsy horse. He's a hard boy. Um, obviously, the Cape Raiders are uh, well handicapped. Um, Which one of, of the Cape Raiders bothers uh, you? Features, features swing of 52 and a half, and obviously even Grant's ride at 58 kilos. I like Grant's ride, yeah. uh, Triple time, um, last time. Uh, he was on the inside of uh, Louis' horse, and he ended up on the outside, 50 to go, and, um, you know, he should have won. But uh, saying that, uh, since he came back from that and won again, um, so the form lines are strong. Um, a lot of horses to respect in that race. It is an open race. You can't pinpoint a single horse out uh, that looks like the right horse. So, okay. uh, tricky race. But um, even like uh, Jock Stratum's uh, horse in that race, 
I gave him, I give him yeah, Gaelic driver. Give him a, a serious shot out today. I think he's he's, he's also right now. No, exactly. And this long straight, he'll love it. And last time we ran against him in the poly, uh, he pulled out wide, and you know he left us all standing, uh, you know, standing still. So. Uh, I think he's a top horse that you have to include. All right, then just Cliff Top. Obviously, he takes on a couple of the usual rivals, but I think you you better distance suited. Yeah, look, um, it's not the sort of race. Um, saying that I like him where there's a nice pattern to it, but I just don't see any speed around me. So I'll probably find myself just bowling along in front and hopefully be able to keep him on at bay again. All right, Richard, we really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Have a good afternoon. Awesome. Thank you very much. And also to my sponsors at Winning Forum for their support. Thank you. That's the Winning Forum sponsor, jockey Richard Free in the winner's box. We've got his insight with regards to a couple of runners from the Creof stable a little bit later. Alan, lovely to have you in the winner's box. Lovely vibe on course to start with. Yeah, great vibe on course. And, uh, you know, it is our big day. And uh, hopefully everybody enjoys themselves. All right. Now, coming to the races, I mean, how many horses? I suppose you've had a few that have won five in a row. But to take some doing. Yeah, no, listen, take some doing, and uh, thank goodness uh, to the owners, uh, you've got to thank them first, you know, A, purchasing the horse, and B, letting me do my job, and, uh, you know, she hasn't got the best legs, and I've spaced her and picked her races, never been put under pressure to find the right race for her, and, uh, you know, she said, oh, if you look at her form, her races are nicely spread out, and um, it makes my life a lot easier, and uh, gives them the winner, so very well done to... Uh, Run and Warren and Craig. Hopefully, uh, she he was here the last time she ran, and uh, he was sent as our lucky charm again. Hopefully, it uh, holds. And uh, great to have him. Ascot Stud, Heavenly Blue. Uh, can't knock him. Well done to everybody concerned, and uh, well done to Richard on a nice ride. Three rocks, good win. Thank you so much. Let's go to Greg. He's going to come into picture. Then I'm going to ask Ashley to come around next to Greg as well. Um, obviously from Ascot Stud as well, and you guys can handle the microphone. So Greg obviously is representing ASSM, and his brother, Warren, not here, but uh, you seem to be the lucky touch and the lucky mascot every time you come racing, you have a winner. And then the breeder standing on the right on the right hand side. So nice to have Ashley here as well. Yeah, so both of them, um, Warren and Arun couldn't make it today, so... I've got a call. Make make sure you're there. So. Did you at least get 24 hours notice or not? No, no, I've had a month's notice oh, on this okay. one. So <laughs> we, we, we were prepared for this and I'm, yeah. I'm glad it arrived. And yeah, congratulations to, to everyone concerned and to Heavenly Blue and, and Ashley. Yeah, Ashley, tell us a little bit more about Heavenly Blue. I know you've had a couple of horses at the sales. Things going according to plan for you? Yes, um, obviously the, there's some very nice ones. He's, she's one of the, of the really nice ones, exciting. Uh, she's won five in a row, which is obviously always, like you said, uh, exceptional in some ways. But, um, yeah, she's, she's from a nice family and it was a very nice cross and he's doing very nicely um, and settled into stud, uh, stud work very well. How long has he been at stud now, Heavenly Blue? The, this is his first crop. This is so his first three, crop. So three years old. So it's really a good way to start. With, I mean, if you have to look back over stallions from different stud farms over the years, it's a really good start. Yes, yeah, very exciting. Yeah, he's had a very good start, and the three olds seem to be running on, so which, which is always exciting too. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Well done to you. Thank you. All right, thanks very much, guys. Very well done to you. Thank you. And all the winners with number three, Three Rocks. She comes out and wins five in a row. That takes some doing.